on this park, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing, bro. We should just keep this as a jet ski. It is almost a shame. Maybe we should just get back on Facebook Marketplace. Every time we buy something, <laughs> we find out it's awesome. <laughs> probably tell what we're thinking here we are going to be converting this jet ski into a road legal functioning motorcycle with this as the heart and soul of the project she's a little scuffed up after Evan's entrance there luckily I don't think we need most of the parts that you just broke <laughs> did you get that <laughs> yeah, I did <laughs> that was so aggressive I just <laughs> got away from me Oh, oh. I'm done letting you do your, your stunts without a helmet on. Did you on. not just see what happened? He wasn't even supposed to do a stunt. We told him just to pull the moped in. You think that was a reason to wear a helmet? You should be able to see what I can do without one. <laughs> I'm fine. Man, you're built like a brick house, bro. <laughs> Everything else in here is bent. Literally, the shipping container is dented. The chair is bent. Evan's the only thing that came out of that thing okay. <laughs> they don't build them like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the plan is to take the motor out of the jet ski, split the hole in half, put a couple holes in the bottom of it, and then set it on top of this moped. We opted to get a 250cc moped, so this thing should go pretty fast. As we just found out with Evan, it moves pretty good. It goes 70. <laughs> yeah, probably faster than you'd want to go on a jet ski <laughs> moped, honestly. So I've seen people with motorcycle jet skis before, but I've never seen anyone actually build them. I don't know where these things are coming from. They'll just pop up on Facebook Marketplace. But we can't find any around here, so we just decided to build our own. And this isn't a how-to video. Our lawyer told us we had to stop doing those. <laughs> yeah, you guys are too dumb to be telling people how to build things. <laughs> So, let's get to work. For those of you guys who are wondering who's running the Sawzall right now, that's Brian. We just hired him on last month, but we like to call him the Big Wrench because he is the lead mechanic around here. And he's been helping us make all these crazy builds possible. Yeah, we've seen your guys' comments that the builds have really stepped up in the last month between the R6 four-wheeler, the 450 shifter cart, the shitter cart, the Hummer pontoon. All these builds themselves are like the coolest things that we've ever built on the channel. And the fact that we've done it in 30 days is insane. So big shout out to Big Wrench. Big Wrench and Evan get together and just talk shit about how ridiculous we are with our timelines. There's a fine line between delusion and shooting for the stars. We teeter on that delusional stage, but hey, hey, we, we get it done. It does work out most of the time. All right, the jet ski is done. And I know I say this every time, but Big Ranch honestly outdid himself on this one. It's a work of art. So we figured once this one was done, we were looking at this thing just in amazement. And we said, well, Big Ranch, what's more fun than one jet ski? So we had him build another one. Two. <laughs> <laughs> he was not very uh, stoked to do it because on the first one, he said he would rather build five pontoon Hummers than one scoot ski because of like the fiberglass and taking an old moped and an even older jet ski and making them work uh, was very difficult, but he made it happen. And the second one turned out even better because now he has some practice to figure out after the first one. I'd still rather build with five Hummers. This one does have a bit of a death wobble at slow speeds, but I did some Googling and apparently that's just a scoot ski thing. Oh, okay. it's part of it. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, buddy, Dude! 
It's got bad speed wobbles. Definitely the best. Well, what do you say, Ev? I think I need a different hat and then we'll hit the open road. One with some structure on it? Uh, I just can't keep this out of my head. It started choking me so fast. Nothing pisses Evan off more than asking him to wear a helmet. A helmet would stay on your head a lot better than that hat. A, a, a stupid helmet. I don't like a stupid helmet. I got the perfect helmet. Nah, for you. I'm wearing that. Ev, put the helmet on, Ev. bikes like that. <laughs> Does it look as ridiculous going down the road as it feels? It looks amazing. It looks like you guys are literally hovering. I feel like we're putting on a boat show. Like when we're bobbing and weaving <laughs> yeah. back and forth together in sync. <laughs> look like you need a ride. <laughs> her friends won't believe her. You look like you want a ride. Oh, I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to your wife. So aggressive. You want a ride? Is this thing legal? <laughs> Fire? I think he blew it up. We're having some serious problems. There's an awful lot of oil laying around. <laughs> There's a disturbing amount of oil. You got a choke in Sounds different. She's been hurt. Dude. All right, after further investigation, she's blown up. So that's why we started building two vehicles for when things like this happen. Now we have a backup. But the worst part is we wanted to keep that one nice because it's like a little bit more of a cherry. Oh, too late for that. It is too late for that. So I good. think it kind of drifts a little. Yeah, you can throw it out a little. What was that? Oh no. You can't make this up. Everything the kid touches. <laughs> I don't think I broke it because it rode great right to here. Yeah. I turned it off and then it broke. No, it must have been somebody else. 
So somehow we're pretty sure that we managed to blow up both the scoot skis. I just think that they're clearly pavement princesses because they spent. Two well, no minutes shit. On the yeah, it's a Kimco scooter. I'm just saying we take a lot of things off road that shouldn't be off road, and clearly these cannot handle the smoke. So in the process of doing our research to build the scoot skis, we came across the original jet ski motorcycles, which are actually from the 70s. These things are called wet bikes. It's literally a jet ski on the bottom and pretty much a motorcycle on top. We thought they were incredible, so we tracked two down. We're not entirely sure if either of them run yet. We haven't taken them on their maiden voyages. They almost looked like they were ahead of their time, but something tells me there's probably a reason that they don't make them anymore, like most things that they discontinue. I have a feeling the reason they stopped making them is probably because they were difficult to ride. I know one thing's for sure. I don't think Evan can touch these things. They basically <laughs> fall apart as you're looking at them. wreck something. <laughs> All right, you're probably good right there. They don't seem to be floating as much as I thought they would. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they sit up to the seat in the water almost until you're driving them and then they kind of like foil out. We did about as little research as uh, you can do to get by doing pretty much anything. Oh wow, it does float. Oh, yeah, does float <laughs> what the f is even this thing? This is gonna be a challenge, my God. Mike doing over in the tree. You good, Mike? Yeah, I'm good. I just don't know how to ride it. This thing sucks. It's always the machine's fault, Em. Maybe you gotta flip a switch. They've gotta go faster than that. There's no way. I Line and it said they're supposed to do 35, not 3.5. You think there's weeds in it? I can't seem to find any faults with her. No seaweeds in my unit. I'd say it's the wet bike, but I'm not too sure anymore. Do you have all the switches on? No, I have them on off. I love when my friends help. All right, okay, we got one going. All right, let's just go and enjoy Mike. Hey, if you're three for three on machines today. It is pretty impressive. I cannot imagine in the 70s driving this thing out on the lake. Like, there was nothing like this back then. Man, this is a beautiful piece of machinery. Downside to it is that it feels like it's gonna fall apart. Somebody else has gotta try that. I'd love to see Ken on it. Okay. Just try not to hit the boat when you take off, Ken. Yes, what do you do? I hope it's He's doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ken has found his extreme sport. Dude, this is seriously the happiest I've seen Ken in a long time. Oh, we got the wave! <laughs> yeah! 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 Oh, that was so electric! Such a graceful fall, though, Ken. I had no idea. What are you doing up? Huh? What am I doing? Well, it was nice having a wet bike while it lasted. <laughs> Dude, there's no way that this ends no, well. <laughs> you break three jet skis in one day. Should you keep jet skiing? Probably not. You're in a bowling. You get three in a row. That's a turkey. Do you quit then? No. You're pumped up. You go for another one. Yeah! 
thought he was gonna hit the boat for the grand finale of the day. Yeah, he just put a giant <laughs> gash in the side of the new boat. He was like gonna sink them both, dude. I need a break. So uh, we're like, all right, probably just head back to the dock. Ryan goes, well, I'll ride it back to the dock. I haven't rode it yet. Hops on, Ev was the last to touch it. Now this. <laughs> This is pretty absurd. This is unbelievable. Dude, it's like four jet skis in four hours. It's not even been four hours. It might be less than that. Wide open throttle and the choke on for like five good seconds maybe and then go back to normal. I would do whatever the opposite of Evan just told you to do. They were yelling stupid things at me when mine wouldn't start, so I'm returning the favor. <laughs> Wiggle the Jiggler! <laughs> Big Wrench is going to leave us. You think me and him were friends this morning. Yeah. <laughs> so much has changed. Lose it all so quick. <laughs> like in escalating of the first jet ski was the most my fault. It started smoking. I kept it wide open for three laps. <laughs> the second jet ski, I could not have been more careful with it. I wouldn't say that at all. Well, <laughs> Okay, all right, keep going. The, keep the, going. the third one, I didn't even get the feel for, and she decided to take a nap. And then this one actually performed great. <laughs> then she just laid down and died. Hop on it. All right, so our buddy Tyler Stewart just uh, got on the boat. He's the best wake surfer in the world. He's won World's Wake Surfing Competition twice. So he's here today to put on a show for us. He brought his other board with straps on it, and he's going to try to throw a flip. We're going to land a flip. All right. Hell yeah. I did a 720 once. Actually, I hit a 1080. We did a whole video on it. <laughs> that was a long time ago, right? I got sponsored by Coors Light and quit surfing. Yeah, I had to hang it up. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Dad said don't hold back, go get that, don't hesitate Ma said just step back and slow it down, go meditate I can myself, do that Stay humble, don't say it all with your chest out But my girl keeps on telling me that I'm the best out mm. Lot of plates I keep spinning, can't stop Lot of steak, steaks rise, I keep winning Blindfolded, find a way, wave high <laughs> I thought he got out of control there and couldn't stop spinning for a second Possibly some of the hardest surf falls I've ever seen. <laughs> you go down, you go down pretty hard. All right, so we got some custom straps so far. How's it broke? All right, so for some reference, everything he's doing is very difficult. That's why he's the, he's the greatest wake surfer in the world. Honestly, most people can barely stand up on the board. It is truly mind-blowing how far surfing behind the boat has come. Yeah, seriously. Like, mind-blowing. I remember it was just nuts that you could go behind the boat with no rope back in the day. And now he's throwing flips, no rope. Uh. 